you know, whether it's, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk or the million of other people that are out there telling you to, you know, screw your mom, screw your brother, screw your best friend, just eliminate them from your life, that it's a way more thoughtful process than that. Man, it's not always the people that you surround yourself with. It's the version of you that you were when you were surrounded by those people. And what I realized what I did in my life and didn't do it the right way is that I cut out a lot of people from my life because of the person that I was when I was with them. Because, you know, I went through a, a period over the last five years of just rapid growth and transformation. Mm -hmm. And I separated from myself from a group of friends and I did it in a really bad way. And so like I quit drinking two years ago. Yeah. And before that, I mean, I had a problem. And so the people that I alienated myself from, they didn't have a problem. There was nothing wrong with them. But being around them reminded me of who I was when I was with them. It wasn't that I was hanging out with the wrong people. It's the people that I was hanging out when I was the wrong person. Okay. I eliminated them from my life because of who I was when I was around them. Yeah. yeah. And so it's not just about auditing the people that you're spending time with, it's aud auditing the person that you are when you spend time with those people. Mm -hmm. and, and so now I've been in this process of trying to kind of rebuild some of those relationships, which is difficult because I literally just, when I cut them, I, I just, I was gone. Yeah. But I think, you know, this idea of just like cutting people, cutting people, like, eh, you got to be a little bit more thoughtful about it uh, when you're going through that process. But for me, it's just as important to be adding in positive people. We always hear like, out of your circle, out of your circle, you know, take one negative person out, put one positive person in like this, this constant continual process. But the reality is like, these are human beings. Yeah. And you have to be way more, way more um, gentle thoughtful and gentle mm -hmm. in going through that. Um, one of the previous Modern Men episodes, we talked about that sometimes you can add so many people in so quickly that that can be the problem. And I used to think that that was my issue is that I was adding so many other people that the people that were already there just kind of like got kicked to the curb yeah. because there's only so much time in the day. Yeah, that's so true. But now yeah. I think it's a combination uh, really of those two things. So I would just challenge people that like, as they're starting to audit these different areas, that they're really mindful of who they are and who they were within the boundaries of those relationships before they just all of a sudden start making big decisions and cutting people off because it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, needs to be a lot more thoughtful than that. And the reality is, you know, sometimes you can add too many people in at one time because at some point it's just a capacity issue. There's only 24 hours in a day. There's only so many people you can talk to and people you can hang around with. That, you know, if I'm choosing on whether or not, you know, when I get home from being out of town, whether I'm going to go hang out with a friend who is an incredible human being and pushes me and drives me and motivates me or hang out with my daughter, I'm going to hang out with my daughter and like end of story. And so at some point you have to realize that you only have so much time and so much capacity. So you have to choose wisely where you're spending that time and what's bringing the most, what's, what's providing the most fruit from the time that you're spending in that type of harvest. Yeah.